you know, people forget you were the first black partner on Wall Street, and you were also the first black CEO of a Fortune 500 company. You have been on the bunch of boards, right? Pfizer, Boeing. Do you feel that this time around, corporate America is sincere in its efforts to improve diversity at its top ranks? Well, I think there's a lot of sincerity at, uh, at the top. Uh, your, your real question is, how long can it persist? Uh, CEOs come and go, uh, and if you want to make permanent change in an institution like a large corporation, you have to take certain steps to really make it part of the culture of that organization. And the jury's out on that. Uh, we, we need to see uh, companies move beyond making strong statements or contributing to frontline uh, human rights organizations into taking concrete actions that will change how they do business internally and externally. Right, and given that we're headed into a rocky economic time frame, too, history has shown that the numbers have dropped off. We had unemployment figures come out last week. They're a little better. They're not as good for people of color. What should America be doing to change that, whether it be from the political end or the corporate end? Well, we need to uh, do a number of things. First, on the corporate side, we need to have a commitment. Uh, that their company is striving to look like America, uh, that they want their company to reflect the diversity of this country, and that they will take concrete steps, either through recruitment or through training, to make their companies look like America. Second, we have to enforce uh, the employment laws uh, more, more stringently uh, than we have over uh, recent years. Uh, and, and the third thing uh, is that we have to uh, provide hope uh, to minority uh, employees and minority young people, uh, that there really is opportunity uh, and that they should really be putting themselves out and taking the risk uh, that they that their efforts will be recognized mm -hmm. uh, within the companies in which they work. Do you think if companies don't take a hard enough stance here, and I do want to recognize that you yourself played a role in the government, do you think the government will step up and force change? Well, I think you'll find uh, probably more pressure coming from uh, their own constituencies than from the government. Uh, I don't put uh, much hope that the government's going to uh, really be a leader here. Uh, but I think that the what's happening in these companies is that their own employees, particularly their younger employees, are putting enormous pressure on them, as well as their customers. And so in, in some ways, that probably will have a, a stronger and more enduring impact on the companies if those two constituencies are firmly behind an anti-racist, pro-diversity initiative. Now, I want to also recognize you had a big role when it came to the housing market, and black home ownership in America has been pretty stark for a number of years. What's the fix to that? How did we get here such that it's so hard for a black person in America now to get a home? Well, it's a com compounding of history. Uh, I like to talk talk about history as being, thinking about it like uh, compound interest, that over a long period of time, even small increments matter. Uh, and what's happened for African Americans is that they never got into the wealth generation process, particularly in housing, where as recently as the 1950s and 60s, the Federal Housing Administration discriminated against minority home, uh, home buyers. Right. Uh, and so we do not have a, the, uh, the impetus to increase home ownership. And what we've seen in the last few years is all of the gains made uh, during the 1990s and uh, in the early part of the 2000s in minority home ownership have disappeared. Uh, and so we're really gone backwards, not forward. Frank, because you were the head of Fannie at a very tumultuous time that only got tougher to, through 2008, now there's a big push to privatize Fannie and Freddie also. How should the entities be owned, especially coming out of a tough time? It looks like a lot of those efforts might be pushed back significantly in this crisis. Yeah, well, the... Because the companies are functioning well and there's no current crisis, there's not a lot of pressure in Washington to, to do anything. Uh, but I think if, in terms of serving the public, uh, they're best served being in uh, private hands uh, with private management uh, and uh, with them paying a, an insurance premium uh, for any risk that they might uh, create for the government. 
so that they, they would pay in just like the banks pay into the FDIC uh, to, to ensure that their taxpayer money would not be needed in the future. But I think under private management, those companies mm -hmm. function uh, far better in terms of serving the mission uh, of helping low, moderate, and middle-income Americans become homeowners or obtain affordable rental housing. Mm -hmm.